Hey family, peace and love to you all. Hello my queens, hello my kings, hello my brothers and sisters. This is just a quick little video. I just um, woke up from meditating, all right? And um, the only reason I decided to do this video because a viewer had reached out to me. And uh, you know, every now and then I tell you, you know, you're welcome to ask me one question, family. I have no problem with that, all right? Your sister, I'm not all about money, and I'm definitely not here to try to get rich, all right? Um, I, I'm in, I've been enjoying being spiritually rich, all right? It's priceless. And uh, like I said, if I had a choice, I'd rather be spiritually rich. That That's what's going to get you far, all right? Not being so bound to this earthly realm, to this matrix, to where somebody off your, if somebody... You know, ask for a dollar. You don't. You don't even want to give up a dollar because you're so attached to things. You so you so attached to money. You know, that that dollar. You know, you, that's your god. You know, you you just you know you value the dollar more than just being a giver. And um, little do you know, you know, just being spiritual is everything, especially when you get to that place of tapping into source. Like I said, this video won't be long. I just want to give all honor to the Most High God, the true living God, Yahweh. I want to give all honor to the Son, Christ Jesus, Yeshua, Lord of Spirit, Lord and Savior. I want to give all honor to the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, that leads me into all truth, to the power that worketh in me. My, I am present, my higher self. As you see, just the time I can get a nap. Well, not, not a nap. I'm not going to say a nap. She don't want to take a nap. She didn't want to take the nap, not me. I didn't take no nap. I, I, I was meditating, but she didn't want to take the nap. Anyway, family, um, real quick, like I said, a viral did get in contact with me, and um, I guess she was checking out one of my old videos to where I was saying, um, I was talking about, you know, uh, learn to master yourself, learn to get to that place of sensing energy. That's when you get to that place, people can't like lie to you or tell you anything. Um, you will sort of become real sensitive, like an empath, shall I say, which is a jewel and is a gift in itself, you know, by the Most High God, which I, which I am always eternally grateful. Uh, family, um, I cannot express to you how important, if I start, I'm pulling my earring, I cannot express to you how important it is to start mastering yourself, start to learn to sense energy. Um, I know, you know, it's, you know, I come off as though I'm making it sound so easy, since energy, since energy, because actually two and a half years ago, you know, I wasn't where I am today. I wasn't sensing energy, to be honest with you. I would watch anybody video that had a nice little title and, you know, it was talking about something that I was interested in. I would watch their videos, you know. Because back then, I, I came to my spiritual awakening and, you know, I wanted answers. I wanted answers to my questions, all right? So anyway, family, I get that. And like I said, two and a half years ago, I, I wasn't sensitive like I am now. I truly believe it is a gift, you know? Um, and if it has always been within me, it's been doormatted, you know? Uh, maybe, me, maybe me having this, you know, spiritual awakening just, you know, helped wake in my DNA and um, these gifts came, came with it, you know, as well as with you, family. Well, only you know your truth, you know, only you know you know, when was it when you start to notice all these different, um, you start noticing things different about you, shall I say. But anyway, make a long story short. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, it's still important to start mastering yourself, all right? Instead of taking time, being so worldly and distracted, take time out for yourself. Love yourself, all right? It'll go a long way. Love yourself and start mastering yourself to learn how to sense energy, all right? But anyway, uh, and if anything, listen to your intuition, your inner man. It, it will not steer you wrong. You just have to learn to take the time to listen. Listen to that quiet, still voice that is within you, all right? But anyway, uh, one of my viewers hit me up. And I'm not going to say who she is because I, I always respect everyone's privacy. Um, I just feel humbled and honored when many of you reach out to your sister, you know. Um, that is a blessing in itself to me, all right. But anyway, 
she was asking me about um, a couple of people that she be that she's been checking out, and um, she just you know I guess her intuition you know she <clears throat> you know she wasn't feeling she wasn't she was feeling some type of way watching their videos and she wanted to make sure she's not being misled and um, they're giving off good energy and they're coming off um, in a way that's not misleading shall I say. <clears throat> and it's a lot of that on YouTube, but anyway. Um, so, it was about four people. I'm not going to say their names, all right? Because I don't do that. Um, even though it is good to expose darkness, all right? I tell anybody that it is good to expose darkness. Um, and I have no problem doing that either. But just not on my platform, you would have to email me. And um, I can get back with you and let you know whether this is something that you should be watching. But you ha you have to get to that point of feeling some type of way in the beginning anyway for me to, to even go there. You know, uh, I don't I don't want to use my platform just to stop. stop. I don't want to use my platform to. Mommy say stop. I'm doing a video. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry, family. I don't want to use my platform to uh, make it seem like I know it all and. You know, I'm using my gift, you know, to call people out. That's not what I'm here for, all right? The things I can do, many of you can do as well, all right? It's just a matter of you trusting your inner man, you know? Trust, you know, trust the God that's within you. Trust, your, you know, your higher self, you know? It's not going to steer you wrong, but you have to listen to it. You know, a lot of times we don't. So anyway... I had, checked out, I had checked out the four people, and one of them has like a million views. I was like, wow, you know, and I meditate on them, and um, I, you know, it's crazy. It's cr my family, if only y'all know, y'all know I'm always telling you, these devices carries energy, all right, whether it's positive energy or not so positive energy. And if you're some person that's not sensitive, you can pick up on it, you wouldn't pick up on the energy. For one thing, you wouldn't even see. I'm sorry, I had to burp. I apologize. You wouldn't even see the spirits that's, that's flowing in and out of these devices, all right? It's rare, but I picked up on it maybe once or twice. It's rare, but it happens, all right? That lets you know the time we're living in because the veil is standing. Please be careful who you're watching. This one person, I'm not going to say his name, but he come off as very um, enlightened and uh, spiritual. And he has like about a million viewers. And um, actually... In the beginning, I started watching him too. I started watching him in the beginning, and um, he was talking about certain topics that I wanted to know because I was having my own experiences, and he was talking about a lot of things. So that's all I'm going to say. So you know, uh, I get it. You know, if you don't know, you don't know. But anyway, you got to stop watching this person because I, I don't you know when I start communicating with my higher self. You know, when you get to that place of mastering yourself and you start communicating with your higher self and getting your answers, you don't have to be watching people no more. You don't have to be looking outside of yourself anymore. If you want to watch people, that's your choice if you want to watch them. But you don't have to watch them for answers when you can get the answers for yourself, all right? So I went ahead and, um, but due to the fact I haven't been watching his videos, uh, which has been like a, maybe a year, maybe, so I think it's been like a year or whatever, uh, I know I felt the need to really um, go back and you know, um, meditate on his name. So I went ahead and did it for this girl. And I was like, wow, I was blown away. The information I was, I was receiving. This person right here, like I said, he has like about a million viewers, maybe a little over. And uh, he got the viewers now. He, and and, and uh, let me get it right. I said a million viewers, that's a family. He has about a million subscribers, all right? But plenty of viewers, you know, people just flock to him. Now, what I picked up with this person, and I know y'all can be like, who is it, who is it, who is it? No, family, many of you have your own gifts. If you cannot pick up on the words that, if you cannot pick up on my energy and, and get some idea, I can't help you. I just can't help you because uh, I, I don't want to use my platform as trying to bring people down. Uh, everybody got to get to that point of, of learning to sense energy. It's very important. But let me just say this real quick. Um, I picked up on the fact that he is spiritual. Yes, indeed, he is spiritual, uh, but he is dealing with unfamiliar spirits, all right, and he also is dealing with, dibbling and dabbling in witchcraft as well. Now, any type of person is dibbling and dabbling in witchcraft, they can do spells. 
If a person is doing spells, you know they can do spells to, to try to gain more viewers and more subscribers, all right? I'm just saying people can do this, all right? Um, his energy is strong, I guess because of what he's really in, into, but uh, that's all I'm going to see on this person. But I see why he has all those viewers and all those subscribers. But anyway, uh, still, you know, even if you're sensing strong energy from somebody, it's not really a bad thing. You want to be able to go in. I feel like the most the most thing a person should look for is, is this person dealing with unfamiliar spirits? And also, is this person dealing with witchcraft, all right? That's something you don't want to touch. But you will never know that if you cannot sense their energy, if you cannot pick up on certain things about them, or if you're not communicating with her, with your with your higher self, you won't know. You you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. All you know is they dropping this knowledge, and but it's like, okay, where, where are you getting your, you know, who is your source? You know, where are you where are you getting your information from? You know. So um, yeah, and there's a couple of people like that on YouTube. You know, uh, they they drop us some good knowledge, but they won't tell you where they're getting their source from. So be careful, family. Be careful. All right. Um, I always deal with people who are up front with you in the beginning of their videos. Though I try to be so truthful with my videos, even though I don't show how many subscribers I have, I don't have a lot of subscribers, family. I really don't. And like I said, I'm not trying to get rich on YouTube because I'm not trying to be bound by this earth system. Well, one minute you're here and the next minute you're not. But I must say, I got about almost about a thousand subscribers. And I've been doing, I've been on YouTube for about what family? Um, what, two and a half years now? But I'm grateful for my subscribers. I'm grateful. Uh, I pretty much, you know, um, if anything, I'm more grateful for my viewers, you know. Just reaching that one or that two or that three. And the nuggets that I'm dropping, you know, if it's benefiting them for their highest good, that's what makes me happy, family. Um, and then there's one more person. Um... Actually, it's may have been about four people, but there's one more person. It's a woman, and she's real popular. She's real popular, that's all I'm going to say. She does a lot of touring, going around, and many of you probably know who I'm talking about. And she does a lot of channeling. But what I pick up from this woman, she's she is spiritual, but she's not operating in witchcraft. But she is dealing with a gin, all right? Many of you can Google what a gin is, all right? They come with a whole lot of half-truth, all right? But that's her source. Um, I let many of you know that who I acknowledge in the beginning of my video, whether you agree or not, it's your choice. You know, I try to give people the choice to watch my videos or not. I let, that's why I put it out there, who I acknowledge. And if, if you agree, that's your choice to agree. You know, that means you're one accord, you know, with, you know, with, um, as far as what I believe in. And if you don't agree, it's okay to disagree, you know, but it's your choice to continue to watch. But I try to put it out there because it's very important. I don't like to be speaking on topics and at the end, I'm dropping that bomb on you. Oh, guess what? I channel so-and-so, you know, I do this, I do that, you know, no, I don't, I don't like to do people like that because, you know, I fear the most high God and i believe in karma all right um i knew that i had existed before i came here and i want to get it right this time all right so whether a person agree with me, with me or not that's their choice but i'm not going to sit up here and try to bamboozle people or you know do witchcraft or whatever trying to draw people in which you can do you know as far as mesmerizing people by using unfamiliar spirits you know tapping in you know those kind of sources but I, you know I, i'm not down with all that I'm, not, I'm just not down with all that. I, I feel the most high God, all right? And, you know, he definitely dealt with me, woo, woo, you know, a while back as far as in the beginning phase of my spiritual awakening. So I know what that feels like when he takes his hands off of you. And, no, I want to be always connected with the source, all right? And being led by the Holy Spirit, all right? To those that believe. And if you don't, I can't do anything about that. But please know that just because you're someone that operate on a higher frequency. It does not mean spirits are not going to be around you. If anything, they are more attracted to you, all right? They are more attracted to you. It just, you know, if you are, put your eyes in the open, you're not going to see them. Um, if 
Well, for the most part, we don't see them if our spirits and the angels. But if your spiritual eyes are open, and um, for the most part, you will see them when you go within yourself. But like I tell you, family, you gotta start meditating. You gotta start meditating diligently until you break through and tap into source. It is possible. I know this for myself. Um, I just don't want many of you to think, oh, you know, I don't want to be seeing no spirits. I don't want to be seeing all of that. No, if you if you're operating in love, and if you operate, and your thoughts are of love, and your heart, your heart, your, I'm sorry, I'm getting hoarse. If your thoughts are of, of love, and your heart is love, you know, all that lining up, you know, and that lamp within you that's burning bright, you know, that's what that's they are attracted to your light. All right, just like when you go within yourself, and you might find yourself in the valley of the shadow of death. You know, spirits are gonna come around you. They're not gonna harm you. Like I said, you operate on a higher frequency. You know, but but they're gonna show themselves to you because they are attracted to your light. That's a place of darkness. So that's why they see you, family. Uh, even whether it, whether it's ETs or dimensional beings, you know, if you're on a higher frequency, it's the ETs on a higher dimension that's gonna see you. You get it? If you're operating on a lower frequency, it's the ET that's on a lower dimension that's gonna see you, as well as the lower spirits that's gonna see you. You get it? That's how they operate. I mean, that's how that works. Even but even the spirits that are on the lower um dimensions they can still see you on the higher dimension they just can't touch you that's the difference you know they can't touch you and they cannot possess you because you are surrounded by light and your frequency you know they, they can't mess with that you know because they're on the lower frequency so um i'm sure many of you get it um i was just trying to break it down so because a lot of people don't understand that concept you know oh you know i want my i want, I want my frequency to increase and I want my spiritual eyes to be awakened, but I don't want to be seeing no spirits, and I don't want to be seeing no dimensional beings, and, you know, I sure don't want to be seeing no ETs and all of that. That comes with it, family. Look, they are around you anyway. You just don't see them due to the veil. That's all, family. But if, you, if you're walking in love, and, and, and you know, the most high God has the protection is over you anyway because you're operating on a higher frequency, all right? Everything is all about frequency, family. Well, I'm going to end this video. Um, the only reason I want to do this video because it's so important. Please be mindful of people that you're watching. Um, I'm not worried about my videos, all right? Because not, not only do I express love, but I, you know, I like to. A lot of you know already. You know, you've been checking me out. A lot of you are empath, so you know already that your sister uh, vibe is love, and I do not operate in nothing dark, all right? Where there is love, there's no competition, and not only that. You know, um, light overshadow darkness any day, all right? So, um, your sister definitely, you know, fear the most high God and, you know, I acknowledge who my source is. And, um, like I say, it's a matter of choice whether you accept or, you know, disagree or whether you believe or disagree. But it's your choice if you want to watch my videos. I'm here to share my light. And to be a blessing to others, you know, being my sister keeper, my brother's keeper, you know. I'm not here to try to get rich on YouTube. Because like I say, it, that can be a trap. That could be a big trap. That's why the Bible talks about a person being rich, you know, and how hard it is for a rich person to enter the kingdom. Yeah, because you're so bound by this earthly realm you know you're supposed to be in this world not of this world but if you are attached to your money if you are attached to your riches you know you don't have no time for god you need to have no time for yourself to go within yourself to seek the kingdom so anyway to all those who have shown me love and been supporting my channel by watching my videos uh, i appreciate you i love you in christ um it definitely gives me purpose and it makes me feel good when many of you are benefiting from my videos as far as the nuggets that I have been dropping. <clears throat> um, to many of those who have, you know, um, sewn into your sister um, by supporting me, you know, a dollar here, two dollar there. You know what? <laughs> I appreciate it, all right? Uh, it's a thought that counts because you don't have to do anything. I thank you, family. Please know that the beginning of my journey uh, started before the age I turned 44. Um, I had did a be <clears throat> sorry. I had did a video. It was called something about a ringing in the ear. I forgot the title of it, but I had explained that video how I was I was um I was uh, 
going on the age of 44. And well, it was a month of July actually, and I was talking about in the video how I was turning 44, and how I started, you know, hearing the ringing in my ear. Actually, my birthday was at Saturday, July the 31st, and I started hearing the ringing in my ear that Friday. So that was interesting. That was interesting. And ever since then, I've been hearing ringing in my ear, you know, back to back, off and on, like for a season, and then they'll leave and they come back. Little did I know, yeah, that ringing in my ear came with, with a whole lot of other stuff, you know, that I found out. It's also a signal of, um, you know, your, the ETs, you know, your ETs are trying to um, make contact, but that's a whole other story. Uh, if any of you have been abducted and, um, you know, you've had experiences with missing time and or seeing ETs, um, you would know what I mean by that, you know, as far as if you look around, you're hearing that ringing in your ear. But, um, yeah, I'm sure many of you can relate to that. But anyway, but your sister will be turning 46 at the end of this month. So anyway, like I said, you know, um, it's always my girls that I appreciate. I appreciate you so much because you don't have to watch me. But I'm so grateful the universe uh, leads, you, leads you my way. And um, you check your sister out, giving me your awesome you know, comments down there, you know, let me know your views and your opinions on my videos. I appreciate it, family. That's what I'm here for, you know. Um, for any of you who want to share the love for your sister on her birthday, you know, like I said, a dollar, two dollars goes a long way. I appreciate it. I'm trying to work on getting me um, a camera. I said I was going to get one Well, You know what? Actually, I did buy a camera. It was one of them cheap cameras. That camera, was hit, that camera was not hidden on anything. So that lets me know when it comes to certain things, if, if you're going to do it, do it right. You know, if you have the money to, to get to buy you something that you really, really want, go ahead and kick out and get what you really, really want. Cheap is not always good, okay? Let me just say that. Cheap is not always good. I call myself, buy me uh, this camera that I got at Walmart. That camera hit no nothing. Because I wanted like, to try to get uh, quality video out to you, family. But once I've said and done, it's about yeah. the message, really. It's not so much about, you know, me having this creative little video and all that, like a lot of people. A lot of people have a whole lot of creative videos. And their video is pretty much just entertainment. And they are saying a whole lot of nothing, all right? But they're giving you entertainment. You know, I really, I'm not trying to give you entertainment. I'm trying to, you know, to share my experience, my testimony. And I feel like that's all that matters. But anyway, um, my email is qmccwest at gmail.com. And I thank you in advance for sharing the love. And um, for, the birthday, for the birthday shout out, like I said, July the 31st will be my birthday. I love you in Christ. I thank you for checking me out. And peace and love to you all. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.